The Shell Eco Marathon is a challenge we put out to students all over the world to come up with innovative solutions uh, to shape the mobility of the future. We tasked these students to develop a vehicle that runs on as little fuel as possible over a set distance. Here at Rotterdam we have a track around the Ahoy Convention Center of about one and a half kilometers, uh, which the students have to lap ten times. And when they come back, the top teams achieve efficiencies like 2,500 kilometers per liter. You have to imagine that this efficiency equals competing 15 to 20 kilometers with about a teaspoonful of fuel. What contributes most to the successfulness of a team is components like no friction in the vehicle. They have optimized their wheel bearings so much that when you give the front wheel a good spin with your hand, it will spin for 20-25 minutes. The students can develop a vehicle within the rules of the competition. It is up to them how they realize certain solutions or problems. The students can choose any fuel from gasoline and diesel over biofuels like ethanol or fame to gas to liquid or hydrogen for fuel cells or battery electric vehicles. Technical inspection here at the Shell Eco Marathon entails a very detailed check of the vehicles. It starts with simple things like vehicle dimensions, the weight, but goes to brake testing and inspection of the fuel system just to find whether there are any hidden energies in the vehicle. The objective of the technical team here at the Shell Eco Marathon is to make the competitors go on the track. We are not here to fail them. In the end, this is the highlight of a year's worth of work where they want to put their ingenuity and their ideas to the test on the track and come home with a result. I personally believe there is no single solution for future mobility. I believe we have to look into many different forms of mobility and in different energies. And I think the key is to be innovative and think about how you increase the efficiency of every single mode of transportation and energy that is available. And that whole package together will be the solution for future mobility.